today I will show you how to remove ads from your app let me show you an example what type of ads I'm talking about let me open an app sometimes in the bottom you can see that type of ads come in your apps and sometimes the big pop-ups always come in your app so let me show you how you can delete the those kind of ads from your app okay for that purpose let me minimize this for that purpose you need two software these two software apk Z tool and notepad plus plus apk Z tool is a portable software so you do not need to install but notepad plus plus is an exe file so you have to install in your system both of these uh, softwares has uh, the download link in my video description you just need to copy and paste in your browser like that this one when you will copy the apk Z tool link this will direct you on this side on on apk Z tool and when you go in bottom you can see download links link one link two so you just need click and download and keep and notepad plus plus when you will click it will direct you on this side you just need to click on this download button and when you will click here it will give you a download link click on this green button and download and install okay the third thing which you you need is a apkpo.com a site this website has all google play store apps so you can download from here i mean on your system you cannot download any app from google play store because google need a android device so you can use this website where you can download all apps i already downloaded that app so cross minimize so this one is the apk easy tool software and this one is notepad plus plus or i already installed it and this one is the app which i have to remove all ads from this app so first of all open this apk easy tool you will see these files you just need to double click on this apk easy tool black icon i already open so this one these option no need to disturb okay so you have to change these two options first of all decompile directory change on desktop i am going to make a directory on desktop new folder i'm going to write a name decompile okay okay in the compiled directory i'm going to rename i'm going to make on desktop compiled okay now select the apk which you wanna edit select to click and press this decompile button okay now you can see my apk is decompiled you it's decompiled successfully you have to click on this okay okay now we need to go to the decompile folder where all where my apk is decompiled this one you can see double click these are all parts of my apk right click on android manifest and click on edit with notepad plus plus now press ctrl f to find ads so uh, here you have to write ads and click on find all in current document okay i have two lines who contains ads line 27 line 28 double click on line 27 it will direct you on that line you just need to delete that line nothing else select from this and go to the end like that okay here and click the delete button like that now double click on line 28 go to the end and select whole line 
like that and delete okay now just save this like that close close and open this apk easy tool again and press this compile button now you can see my apk is already compiled successfully i will click ok okay now go to the compiled folder here you can see my easy video cutter is compiled now have to install and let's see the ads are removed or not so i'm going to again my android emulator so, and i have to install this app from compiled this one okay okay now you can see my app is already installed in my android emulator you can also install this in your android phone anyway you can see now in bottom there is no more add pop-up screen so this is the whole process you can so you can also send this app this uh, compiled app to your email and then just download on your mobile android mobile for this just uh, for example open your email and compose and then attach the apk file which you edited and send and then just download in your mobile and install and enjoy a app without any ad thank you guys for watching my video if you got any question please ask me i will try my best to answer you if you see any error in my video let me know i will correct and it will be helpful for me maybe